All right, so this video is about um, uh, homotopy in homotopy equivalence, or uh, as some topologists say, I think most of them, they say they, they call it homotopy, so you can pronounce this word either way. Um, in, in, so uh, in, in, this is the, uh, uh, the cliche part of um, of topology where there where people talk about a coffee mug and a donut uh, being equivalent okay um, they're homotopy equivalent um, and so let me before getting into this I think I should do some examples let's see where my examples are uh, okay here are my examples so um, okay so so let's do some examples. Okay, so let's look at uh, R three minus a circle. So I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna find something that, that's homotopy equivalent to it. So R three minus a circle. Okay, and so all right, R three minus a circle, and so I'm gonna draw. Um, uh, so so this is going to be here. So the blue, this is going to denote negative space. So stuff that has been deleted. Okay. So uh, all right. So so first, there's the circle. It's been deleted in all of R three, and maybe I'll try and shade in like a little bit. So this is like all of R three. Okay. Um, and and we'll do the usual trick where we're going to um, bring uh, R three down to a ball. Right, so then we'll get something like this, all right, and we'll delete the the we still delete a circle. Okay, so now it's a ball minus uh, a circle inside of it, floating inside three space. Okay, um, so this these two things are equivalent. Uh, all right, now we can continue, and um, uh, so so what what we can do is we can fatten this up. Okay, so we have our our thing here, and uh, so maybe we want to fatten this up to right, so something thicker like this. Okay, and uh, we still have uh, this is still inside the ball, but now we've deleted like a a torus inside the ball. Okay, uh, and and so we've kind of inflated the circle into uh, a torus, a filled the torus. Okay. And um, all right, so we can keep going. So this thing is equivalent to well. Well, now I'm going to fill this up completely, right? And so what we'll have is we'll have a, a filled ball. Okay, so this is like a filled ball. Okay, uh, and then on the outside we have some some negative space here. Okay, so there's just a sphere on the outside, and now. We have uh, we're kind of kind of through this ball. We have a single line, so we've pushed it all together. We've inflated this, so now it's just like a, a little bead. So you know maybe you could view this as a as a as like a rod coming in first, and then we'll 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 deform it to a, a point there, okay. And now uh, so what does this thing become? Well, this is just equivalent to okay. I'm not going to draw the blue anymore, right? But this is just uh, the sphere S2, all right, with a line through it. So this is a sphere. So here, at this stage, we've, we're kind of, this stage we're inflating, and then this stage we're inflating, right? And then this thing here is a, a, like a S2 with a, a plus a, 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 I don't know, an interval I. Uh, the, you know, the, there's a there's a uh, quotient of these two parts here. So we're doing a gluing construction here, and then what we can do is we can kind of deform this down, right? So we can pinch that little thing here, and so what we get is uh, here we end up getting a, a sphere, right? And then if we we bring those two points to the same thing, we just kind of have a little circle attached to it. So at the end of the day. Right, we get uh, S two 
wedge S1, right? So the, the okay. So this, so, okay, so what, what, do we, what do we do? We were showing that uh, R3 minus a circle is homotopy equivalent to uh, S2 wedge S1. Okay, so that's, uh, that's how this goes. Okay, so what if we did another example? Okay, let's do another example that's kind of fun. So let's do R3 minus two circles. Okay, same dual, deal with negative space. Okay, so now we'll, we'll, we'll do the same thing. So there's my first circle, there's my second circle. And again, this is in, okay, so this is all in R3. Okay, so, okay, and then we do the same thing that we usually do where um, we kind of restrict it to, um, okay, we restrict it to some blob containing it. Okay, so we're bringing R3 in to a ball. All right, so this is like a, a big ball minus two circles. Okay, and now we, we kind of perform our previous construction that we did before. Okay, so now we inflate, right? So we inflate these two uh, circles here, right? So we're going to inflate them like so, um, right? Okay, so they're kind of like this. Okay, they're filled. We have this ball that's filled, and we have this ball is also filled. Okay, but we have a boundary around this whole thing. Okay, so there's there's a sphere containing this one, and they meet up here at this point. And then just like in the previous problem, right, where um, you know we had this leftover rod here, so we have a rod sticking through this one. And we have a rod sticking through this one as well. Okay? And now the, the, the two spheres are now at, pinched at a point. Okay? And so uh, if, we, if we were to bring this in, right, so now we can take these two anchor points for the rod, bring them in like this. Okay? And then, um, uh, and so what do, what do we end up getting? So we'll, we end up getting... One sphere over here, right, with its uh, little circle attached, and then another sphere over here uh, with its circle attached. So we have, uh, so this thing is uh, S2 wedge S1 wedge S2 wedge S1. Okay, so this is equal to S2 wedge S2 wedge S1 wedge S1. So it's, they're the same. Okay? So the wedge of two spheres and two circles. So what can we do with this? Okay, so we, we just did some more kind of advanced homotopy equivalents, right? Um, uh, so what can we do with these things? Okay, let me, let me tell you a, a fun, kind of a fun one. Okay? So think about this. I started thinking about it, and, you know, like, and so I decided not to do this in the video. Uh, but, um, so there's a special, uh, interesting, uh, there's a, it's, it's super amazing, okay? Um, so let me tell you, let me, let me tell you what this one is, okay? So there's, there's this special thing where if you do R3, okay, and then you remove, uh, two linked circles. Like this, okay? So if I do this one. Then I do this one. Okay, so um, okay, so th th so you have two linked circles like this, uh, and I'm going to tell you. Okay, so so you maybe I'll do a whole video on this. Okay, this is an interesting one to look at, but this is this leads to this thing called the Hopflink. And uh, I posted so there's the most underrated YouTube video ever, which. Um, uh, so what? Uh, so it's the most underrated video ever. It's about so this guy. Okay, so one thing that you can show is you get kind of like two toruses that are interlocked. Then these two toruses, right, end up 
you, you can end up making these two torses that are interlocked like this equivalent to, well, a single filled torus, right? But you remove a Mobius band from it, okay? And um, uh, yeah, and so that I'll, I'll let you think about uh, how this puts together, but there's a video, um, uh, and I guess I'll link to it at the end of the video too, of this, this, uh, this amazing uh, Hoplink video. Let me see if I can find the person's name again. Is it up? Yeah, it's uh, Simon Willer Willerton, right? Is, uh, uh, and the, the video only has 241 views, and uh, does this guy have more on his channel? Yeah, he's got some other cool stuff. Um, oh, I, yeah, I guess I don't know who's, did he upload it? I don't know, uh, um, but yeah, it's a, it's cool. It's very cool. Okay. So, um, all right. So you can go look at that hot link video. So we're okay. So, so what was the point of all this? Uh, so, we, uh, so we, I, I was showing you some homotopy, equi homotopy equivalences, but I haven't even really defined what a homotopy equivalence is. Um, why do we care about this? So, um, so we care because it allows us to compute fundamental groups. So like, uh, you know, for this one, you know, so we get things like this. So I'm going to omit the base point. That's part of the notation of this. But if we did this, so we can compute these a lot easier, right? So this was, uh, uh, so this is isomorphic to pi one of uh, S2 wedge S1, right? And then this is isomorphic to pi one S2 wedge pi one S1, right? And uh, so this one vanishes. And uh, so all loops on a sphere are contractible. And um, uh, so this just becomes isomorphic to the integers. Okay, so, so you, can, you can do things like that. Um, uh, we could do another one too, right? So um, if we do the other one, right? So pi one of uh, R3 minus uh, two circles, they're not linked. Okay, and I think we'll get to this when we do some cell complexes, all right? So, um, okay, so then, uh, so when we do CW complexes, I will try to remember to do the, the hop link. Okay, so, um, uh, so we'll, this is pi one of S2 wedge S2 wedge S1 wedge S1, and then we just do the free group on these things. So this is pi one, uh, and then we have, uh, I mean, and this also makes sense uh, from, uh, so this is uh, pi one s one pi one the other one's vanish I'm just going to use that and then this is uh, uh, z two z z so this is the free group on two letters okay so um uh, so else what else do I want to say about this so um uh So, uh, so what do I want to say about this? I don't think I want to say, so, so yeah, oh, oh this is what, what else did I want to say? So, uh, yeah, so if you have two circles like this, right, if I have the two disjoint circles, so what, it, does this make sense, right? Well, okay, what are the two loops, right? So if you fix your base point, right, then that's one of the generators, right, and then that's the other generator, right? So then this thing is just, those are the two generators of the of the group. So you go around one one of the one of the holes in the other hole. All right. So we're 15 minutes in, and, and I've just done more more stuff. Um, that's some motivation for homotopy equivalence. Uh, those are some examples. Um, uh, now I'm going to get into the meat of homotopy equivalence. Um, I guess I'll pause here, and then I'll just start it right away.